And you know, one of the worst things in the world to me is to be invisible. People see you, but they don't see you. And you're right there. Harvey Williams is getting the opportunity he's prayed for since he re-entered the community two years ago. That there are angels among us that people don't know about. His goal was always to find a well-paying job that would allow him to be a productive citizen. But he says the places he went to find work wouldn't hire him because of his history. That is, until CBS 6 viewers heard his transformation story. But I was willing to work for uh, a living that I wanted to earn for myself. Yeah. And the Lord, you know, provided, you That's know, so awesome. options, you know, thanks to CBS News and your reporting and uh, OAR. OAR is short for Opportunity Alliance and Reentry of Richmond. That story just opened people's eyes so much. And then once it aired, we started getting emails and calls, like right away. And people were messaging me through Facebook. Sarah Dimick is the executive director of the organization. The nonprofit assists people who are incarcerated and people who are transitioning back into the community. The need is huge. I mean, 95% of folks that are incarcerated are kind of come home to our community, 95%. So if we look at that, even if they have long sentences, they're gonna come home. Are we preparing folks for release to the best that we could? On average, Sarah says OAR provides resources to about 4,500 people a year. I mean, we will not ever be able to meet every person that comes out of incarceration, ever. Harvey calls Sarah one of his angels. I've met her today. They met for the first time for our interview. I never knew her, never knew her name, but because of her kindness, you know, I've had somewhere to live that has kept me off the street and able to focus on redirecting, you know, the course of my life. And he's celebrating his new role as a peer recovery specialist. Talk to clients and just basically help guide their decision making towards, towards you know, what is best for them, mm -hmm. you know, moving forward in the future. You know, just not making a decision for them, but just helping God damn it. He's also working to get his license and certification in peer recovery. He wants to use his experience to inspire and to advocate for people with similar obstacles. Governor Youngkin seems like a, a genuine man. I would love to talk to him. Uh, the Secretary of Public Safety, I would like to have a conversation with. Uh, all of those people who are in charge need to see the value of reformed Make the felons. With his past behind him, Harvey says he now intends to be seen as part of the solution. Don't just put a label on me and see me as having no value when I just may have answers that you need. Working for you, Candace Burns, CBS 6 News. OAR is always in need of help and donations. If you'd like to learn more, give them a call. The organization is located in Richmond's Scott's Edition.